AFTV Turkish, what a way to, you know, be seeing in the new year and seeing out the old one with another impressive away day performance by Arsenal. I mean, we could go all the way here. Yeah, we could go all the way. I haven't felt like this in a long time, Rob. I, I, I can't believe what's going on. Long may it continue because the way we've ended this year, the way we started this season and the form we've been on, mad. This is what I've wanted to hope, mm. to believe, to see Arsenal challenging at the very least. And that's what we're doing. Massive, massive credit to Mikel Arteta and Edu. Massive credit to where they've brought Arsenal from in, in just a matter of three years, just over three years. Mm. Three years ago, I never thought we would be top of the league in three years. That's not to say we'll go on and win it. Mm. But, you know, let's challenge, let's fight, let's be in, in and around the conversation. And that's what we are. What we've done so far this season is put ourselves seven points clear at the top of the table. We've taken advantage of Manchester City's hiccup earlier today, like we did just before the World Cup break when they lost to Brentford. Mm. You know, this is a team that's got a newfound mentality a newfound belief and hope, not just the fan base. We can see it in the players, you know, and the manager did tell us, you know, believe, be patient, trust the process. And this is, I guess, what he meant. He said the project will go bang. It, sh it sure is going bang right now, Rob. Yeah, and it is going bang. And then that was, a, a, you know, to go to Brighton, a place, number one, traditionally, we've not done well there, right? That's number one. Number two, they're a good site. You know, I mean, remember what they did to Chelsea mm -hmm. at home this season. They won last week as well. They, they went to Southampton away, won 3-1 there. They're a very, very good side. We're under pressure because even though those teams have dropped points, the pressure's on us now. Right, what are you going to do? We answered every question today. That was title winning away day form. All of that was facts, Rob. You, mm. you bet you forget to mention they're a bogey side over the last few years for us yeah. as well. So the way we dispatched them within the first couple of minutes, scoring a goal off the back of Man City dropping points, Newcastle dropping points, it was the perfect start. And across the 90 minutes, we more than deserved the, the result. Mm. I know it got sticky towards the end and, you know, like that third goal disallowed for them. It is what it is. I'm not going to dwell on those too much because it's a new year tomorrow. Forget about all of that. We just look at the Premier League table. We're top. Listen, there was a lot of doubt was when Jesus got injured. Even myself, I thought, shit, how are we going to cope with this because I didn't really believe too much that Eddie could replace Jesus and what he brings he's not necessarily replacing him in what he brings but what he's doing he's scoring two mm. games two goals over those two games we've scored seven goals so we haven't really felt Jesus's loss yet and mm. I say yet because we're heading into a into a run of fixtures against the teams in the, well not in and around us just below us you know Newcastle Tottenham and Man United below them we need to get the job done against these lot as well. We know what Tottenham have done away from home, um, us being away from home against them over the years. Let's change that around. It's time to turn that narrative around now as well. Rob, seven points clear. Our goal difference is up there. It's not like our goal difference is plus 11 and, and you know, mm. Man City's is plus 27. We're just one off their goal difference. You know, it's mad. Odegaard, class again today. Mm. Class again. Everyone gave him man of the match but me. I gave it to Martinelli because he got a goal and an assist in the second half. The first goal for Saka came from his shot. But it could have been Odegaard. It could have been Saka. For me, it could have been Thomas Partey. Thomas Partey mm. this season has been immense as well. Um, Xhaka, immense. Saka Martinelli. Eddie Nketiah gets another goal. Saliba, OK, we won't talk too mm. much about him today. But as a young defender, these are the moments you learn off. Gabriel had a few mistakes earlier in the season. It didn't cost us points. Maybe the Man United game we look at cool, but generally his mistakes didn't cost us points. Same with Saliba's over the last couple of games. His mistakes haven't cost us points. Mm. And that's the most important thing because now, you know, you can learn off that. You can keep your head screwed on for the full 90. Gabriel today was solid as well. Ben yeah. White, solid. Zinchenko, we saw what happened when he came off. Excellent. It kind of changed the shape yeah. of things. So... We've got a very, very good unit now. I'm not just going to say a starting 11. We've got a good unit because even coming off the bench, Tommy Asu and Kieran Tierney, like I mentioned on the watch along, in years gone by, that would have been Bellerin and Kolasinac coming off the bench. Mm. How far we've come in those few years, Robbie. Yeah. Long may it continue, man. Um, we're going in now. Tomorrow is 2023. In four and a half months' time. Yeah. Four and a half, not even, I wouldn't even class it as five months because the season sort of finishes midway through May, doesn't it? Or the third week in May. Yeah. Can this team lift the Premier League title? Yes, we can. We can do it, 100%. Obviously, it's over to the Cronkays and they're due for January. But even from what we have, you know, the players that we've had so far, they've given us the belief. They've given us the hope. We're just looking at January to complement what they've done. And I believe Arteta deserves that. I believe the players deserve that. And I believe the fans deserve that. 
Don't just look at us being top of the league, Kronke, and think, maybe we don't need to do nothing. No, no, no. Maximise every window. That's Arteta's words. That's our manager's words. So let's do it. Let's go and add in someone or one or two players in January. Let's go into those Newcastle, Tottenham and, and United fixtures on the front foot. Because look, if we beat Newcastle, we're 10 points clear of Manchester City and we can just sit back, chill and watch mm. them on Thursday away at, Stamf mm. away at Stamford Bridge. So yes, we can win the league, Rob. We can. It's there for us this season. Whether we do it or not, we'll see. But this is all I wanted, to believe we can. And that's where I'm at now. I believe we can. Shop for AFTV merch at shop.aftv.co.uk. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat and Twitch. We've got content for every platform. So check it out.